Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to be talking about visual shaders and height blending vertex colors. So for this setup, I'm using the same planes that I've imported from the previous video. I made a new material, and I'm attaching that to the planes. And then in the material, I made a new visual shader, and we're going to attach that to our material. Now for this setup, we're going to simplify it a little bit. We're just going to be mixing the black and the red channel. So if we look at our planes, we can see the vertex colors on here. And the thing about vertex colors is that they're based on the vertices. So you can see how some of these edges are really sharp. If we use something like a height mask, we can refine this. So we have a bunch of textures that I've imported, but we're just gonna use one of them. And you'll see that this says AORMH. So this is a channel pack texture. It is the ambient occlusion, roughness, metallic in the RGB channel. And then it has a height map in the alpha channel. So I'm gonna drag that into my visual shader. We can click on this eyedropper that does look like a bat wing and you see that we can preview the alpha channel. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take the red channel mask, and we're gonna multiply this by that alpha channel. So we want a scalar multiply. We'll plug this into the top, and we'll plug the alpha into the bottom. And now we're gonna use this as our new red mask. And right away, you can see how this changes it, right? It's a little more detailed, blending the red into the black. Now, if you wanted more refinement, so you can blend this a little better, what we want to do is we want to add another scalar op, but we're going to turn this into an add. Plug this in right away. And then we want to make a scalar uniform. We'll just give this a quick name, like red blend. And now we can come back over to our material where that parameter is. And if you adjust this, you can see if we're pushing it up towards one, it starts to fill in more red. But if we pull it below one, we get a more gradual fall off. So we get a little bit of a nicer transition than we would if we just used the straight up vertex colors. From here, you could combine this with the previous video for each one of the texture sets, and you can do this for each one of the masks, the red, green, blue, black, and alpha. All right guys, that was a pretty short one, but this should cover height blending vertex colors. If you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks guys.